like this video, and subscribe right now, or you will have a bad day tomorrow. Now you yeah, talk about me, say it to my one. What well, I mean, talk about me, say it to my one. Say it, say it. Talk about me. Say it to my face, get out of my face Been with it first place, they still think it's a race No, hit the road if you can keep on with the pace Man, turn that shit up, turn up the bass, 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 bass I, It's you like about the GameStop stuff? So, dude <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people on Reddit started this thing called Short Squeeze But basically Normal people were just, just started buying GameStop stock just yeah out the blue. Like a whole lot of it. Long story short, it's basically costing millionaires and billionaires money. I kind of just saw like an article or something on YouTube. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I meant to go back to that because I never knew what that was even talking about. I, I think I was just scrolling scrolling around on, on YouTube or something. I saw somebody talk about that, but I didn't really like get into it. I haven't. Yeah. I barely go to GameStop as it is since, since the <laughs> pandemic. But I, GameStop yeah. for the longest for me has been one of the type of things where I feel like they just. I don't really like to buy games from them like that. I don't really like to go there because I feel like they really cheat you out of your money. You know what I mean? Like you just you you buy yeah. something brand new and you bring it back and it's like a third of the price they're giving you. It's just so you bought this for sixty, we give you five bucks for it. it's just like. Like, I paid way more, and this is a, a, still a new game. I, I don't know. I feel like you can get way more at a pawn shop than at GameStop. I don't, I just, I just felt like GameStop is just one of those places. That I just, I just, it's not in my radar anymore. I'm, I'm not a big fan of GameStop. I don't know if you heard when the pandemic first started, GameStop mm -hmm. was actually fighting towards staying open, trying to say they were a legit store at, and like grocery stores and shit like that. They was trying to stay mm -hmm. open. What? <laughs> they was trying to stay open the whole time and had their employees working during that whole time. And it's like they weren't really making as much money because people were focused on going to the grocery store and buying all the toilet paper. Nobody was thinking about buying mm -hmm. games from GameStop. Exactly. Oh, man, these... I know I wasn't. That I... was the last thing on my mind was games from GameStop. You can, you can get games way cheaper online or at Walmart and Target than at GameStop. And you get your money back for it at Walmart on Target too. If you, if son, if you mm -hmm. buy a game, you just like, oh no, something happened with this game. You get your money back. GameStop, no, I. Nope. I never like that why system. Yeah, I never liked that about them. And the funny thing is, I actually worked there before, but <laughs> my work experience is just like this place sucks. <clears throat> Y'all don't pay shit. How are people working here? Yeah, I heard there. I had pay to leave when I worked there. No, it's horrible. <laughs> Or what? This is, that was a long time ago, but still, I remember to this day. <laughs> I was going. I was. Yeah, I had man. planned to work there at some point. I was like, no, no, I'm good. I can't. I can't be a part of this madness. You know, when you're a teenager, that just seems like a dream job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then you become an adult, and you see it, and you're like, oh wait, no, that's I, not gonna be. No, that's not gonna work. You must have just, like I said, like I feel like you, you must have just like accept the loss if you're going to go to GameStop or go somewhere else. I can't, I can't with GameStop at all. I, I was in there the other day. They had, because they still have them. Um, they, as a matter of fact, I went to the one, it was at a mall and it looked like it was empty in there. Like, I mean, besides no people in there, it was like the shelves mm -hmm. looked like they were empty. And they said they don't really get that much like s stock and everything like they mm -hmm. usually do. I don't know if it's because they're, the holiday or people not feeling GameStop as much, but I've never seen GameStop look empty like that. The guy looked wow. so bored, and yeah. I was like, hey, he just, <laughs> he looked like he was, he probably was happy bored. to see you. He's like, oh, a person. I was, right. I thought he was going to have more energy. He just still was in his mindset, just kind of like, like he looked like he didn't want to be there. He was like, he about to go home. <laughs> I, was trying, I was trying to have a conversation with him, but he wasn't really talking to me. I was just like, well, okay, have a good yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, that's all you can do in that situation. <laughs> but it was like, nothing well, in there to buy. <laughs> so wow. it was like, well, it was nothing that's... in there that I wanted. Like, I looked around and I was just like, okay. <laughs> I'm nothing I'm in here for me. This is not my story. <laughs> I was hoping this year would be would have been 
like, I mean, I know it just started, so I'm trying to see how this year is going to go with mm-hmm. with everything, you know, because last year was kind of a bombshell, and literally they they had us wearing the mask and the shutdowns and everything just everything was closing right a week before my birthday, and I was just like, bro, what is going Damn. on right now? Are you I, serious? I was, <laughs> Yeah, my, it happened. It happened in March. My birthday was like the end of March. Yeah, my birthday is the end of March. It literally happened like right around that same time frame, and I was just like, "What is going wow. on right now?" It's, uh, <clears throat> it was such it a was such terrible. Way to celebrate a birthday. I don't know how long how long we're gonna be walking around with masks and all this stuff. And as far as like, like I like I, it's it's interesting because like we I get we all got to wear masks and stuff but I always get the the occasional people walking in there and don't want to wear a mask or if we did, we've been going this for almost a year people are still forgetting to have their mask on like it's like to a point where it's like I don't know I just it becomes second hand like sometimes yeah you forget it in your car but you walk around and you and you look at someone that has a mask on and it don't click at no point until you get to the register you don't have a mask on or to somebody say something to you I don't get that forgetting is one yeah, thing but weird. how Pay attention to your surroundings. That you people don't pay attention to. If I forget my mask and I walk it around and I look at somebody's face and I see a mask on, it's gonna click to me automatically. And I, I mean, I may think differently, but I just I don't I don't really get what's go- what people think when they do certain things. And I don't understand why they want to argue, fuss, and fight with the people that just work at this store. You know, like if if I just work here, why are you give me so much problems? You could do what you want in your free time, but you came into the establishment and. I'm just telling you what they told me. That's that's the rules. You can't just be giving us a hard time just because you want to. Yeah, I never you're right, understood man. why people want to do stuff like that. It's just, just oh, um, you got your mask or like, and I and I try my best to ask politely, and we do offer um, complimentary masks because we have extra masks in there. They say we can uh, do that stuff, but some people just be just don't care. They want to make life harder for and. And I realized the reason, one of the reasons why they feel like they can get away with coming in there with no mask is the fact that no one really, like, a couple of us will say something, but they can still go in there, shop, and check out. And some people, and some of the employees, like, I don't think they made it a huge deal at our store to be like, no, no one assists them in any kind of way. Because some people, I feel like, still check them out. And they're like, well, shoot, I didn't did all this. I didn't got my groceries and I'm gone with no mask on, so I don't have to come in here with a mask if I don't want to. Yeah, that's, that's just crazy. that's just how it. So I'm just like, if we wanted to really stick, no one should um, help them. It should get to the point where they have to register and they should say something. And if they don't want to put a mask on, they start low. I'm like, like I'm not taking nobody. I'm not ringing anyone up with no mask. And everyone needs to be the same way. But I I get we all in a predicament. I wear my mask all day at work. I don't want to wear my mask all day at work. It's exhausting sometimes it's hard to believe like i i get it for most people like i understand we we be in the same boat but the 20 minutes that you're in the grocery store shopping with your mask on versus my nine hour shift is not the same thing and i don't feel like people should really sit there and just be trying to cause a situation just because you're in there for about 10 15 20 minutes and i'm in there all day you am i sitting there like people people give me such a hard time and like I'm, we that's just the rules. We everyone's just trying to work together, but I get we're done with the face mask and they want to get it. But I don't know. Like you, when you out on your own doing your own thing or whatever, you do your own thing. I just I don't think you should come in there harassing people in the establishment. Like oh, I don't have to wear a mask. And I've had people try to sit there and say, no, the government's lying to us and this, that, and the third. It's just like that don't have nothing to do with what they told me to tell you, though. I don't really <laughs> care what you're. You know, it's like. They told me to say that you got to have a mask on when you come in here. They did. Well, the government's lying to us, and uh, it, we it's all um, a political thing. They're trying to force us to wear It's like, I don't care. I can't. Like, why is it so serious? It's literally I, a thin <clears throat> piece of thing, like you said earlier. You <laughs> only have to wear it for 20 minutes. I mean, like, come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I... I don't know. I, I feel as though people kind of, and I, I get it's it's very interesting because we're we're in a situation where people kind of like they they're already irritated and they're showing the true colors. But with since COVID started, I feel like people have been kind of more rude and disrespectful and just not giving caring and giving a fuck about anything anymore. And they just kind of like, mm-hmm. oh well, it's I do a us versus them mentality. 
Like, I, either you think this way politically or that's it. And I'm just like, well, first of all, that's not how things work in general. We need to be more open-minded about things. I agree. <laughs> We're not open-minded enough as just, I guess, as a I, society. When I interact with people, I, people always say the things that you can't talk about are like politics, religion, sport, like certain things or whatever. But, and I guess sports is more of a fun thing or whatever. But the thing is, you should be more open-minded and respectful to what someone has to say where you're able to talk about any and everything and not offend the other person and vice versa. Like everyone has, everything has its good and bad points. And I've even had friends that are uh, atheists. I've talked to this one guy, he's atheist or whatever. And he told me his reason I believe it in God. And I'm like, okay, I respect for his reason. I'm not forcing religion on him. You don't sit there yeah. and attack people for just because they don't agree with you. You know, you should well, be able to be freely just talk about certain things without people attacking you. I feel like it's also because <clears throat> people are really frustrated in general with just where we are right now as a country. Like, you look at all the shootings, you look at the economy, you look at um, retail jobs, how many, like, <clears throat> Amazon and e commerce has been growing like crazy. And it's more convenient for, for everyone. But then you have a lot more retail jobs that are closing and shutting down forever. Yeah. So there's a lot of people losing jobs and all this. So you turn on the TV or you go online and you're being told you got to blame these people. Yeah. So they just listen. I'm just like, first of all, the only ones, like, who actually makes the rules in America? Take a look at the Senate, you know? Take a look at the White House. Like, Who's in charge? Those are the ones that are making the rules. So why are you here angry because you have to wear a mask in a store? You heard about the storm in the White House? (laughs) Dude, who didn't? (laughs) That shit was crazy. I was dying when I saw it. I could not believe it. It's supposed to be a secure building, and they just let anybody, just any random folk off the street, just run up in there, and it's just like... Really? We doing a tour of the White House today, man? Like, let's go. Yeah, that's crazy. It's, well, the president invited them over there. It was some rally or something that was had that was um, had there. The new president or the former president? Former president Trump. He invited oh, yeah. them over yeah. and told them to fight back and whatever else. And then, bro, people can say what they want, but he incited that shit. <laughs> he fucking incited that shit. He knew what he was doing. Because there's no way that there's literally no fucking police, no fucking National Guard, and just prior, when you look at all summer, last summer, when during all those protests, if you go back and look at the footage, the police look like fucking army. <laughs> they were suited up, they had their shields, they had everything. I'm just like, so... And those were protests without any guns. These guys were storming a building with guns. So I I really don't understand how, for one scenario with no guns, you're heavily armed and you have tear gas and you have all this other stuff going on. But then the next season, you don't even have the basics. You only have a few officers inside the building. That's it. Yeah. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. There's no way. Yeah, it's like so many people that was like vouching for him and agreeing with everything he's saying. It's like this dude is literally doing um, freaking press conferences and just acting crazy and just doing whatever he wants on the new on the news and and just it was just crazy stuff. You just like watching and witnessing and people still had his back into the end. And I'm just like, bro, what? Heck, that is, it's, that's not a call. I don't know what is, man. I'm just like, yeah, they, yeah. it's like yeah. he couldn't do nothing wrong. And I'm just like, what is going on? It's like anyone else <laughs> couldn't do nothing. You can anyone compare, else compare to Obama just that's the what year I, before. That's what I'm like. like if Obama would have did that, <laughs> it would have been so else. much, bro. I'm just like, okay, y'all can't lie anymore. <laughs> Everything basically came out in the light in 2020. <clears throat> There's no more fucking line. We already knew, but, you know, it's just one of those things where nothing really big happened recently, so you can't point to anything recent. Now you can. Man, I... And when... 
first of all, when they I knew about Donald Trump before he got in office. I had already kind of had some research on him. Most people were kind of like ignorant to the fact. And then some people were sitting there trying to say, oh, he's a businessman, so he's going to do good. And it's like, did you not hear what happened to his businesses? They tanked. They did really bad. A good business in my ass. It's, that's that's just crazy. <laughs> but it, it was it was stuff like that or whatever. And then my thing was, I was like, okay, I mean, end of the day, People were making a big deal when it was uh, it was him versus Hillary. They was trying to say the lesser two evils or whatever. So they picked Donald Trump out of the two. And I'm just like, I, was were they really just trying to fight against our first female president? Was that the case? It just, I, like, look, look what all Donald Trump did. So would Hillary have been that bad if people said in comparison to, like, Donald Trump acting a fool and not really, like, trying his best to make? United States a better place, whatever he was trying to do, you know what I mean? Like he it just didn't really seem like he was really putting an effort. He just like was having fun while he was being president. It's like a joke to him. It's like, okay. I don't think Hillary Clinton would have been as bad as people said if they would have if they would have let her in office. I, I really felt like they were just fighting against it for all means and it's just Donald Trump gets up there, he does what he does and stuff, and it's just like, okay. And like you say, like even when Obama was in there, like people would never have gave if Obama was cutting up like that, they would have never gave him a second chance like that, man. They just Nah, it's because the Republicans are like they will kill over this stuff, man. It's it's crazy the kind of world we live in. It's, I mean, end of the day, some of the stuff is just unavoidable. It's nothing you can really do like once stuff is set in motion, but Jesus, it's just, I I don't know. I just feel like, I mean, everyone deserves the benefit of the doubt. Like, I'm not going to sit there. Like, he, he's president now, so hopefully he'll do something. But it just, yeah. to me, it didn't really seem like he was really doing anything like that. But people try to say the same thing for Obama. I'm just like, okay, it's just, at this point, That's a good now point, people, but... <laughs> people mad That's a good that point. <laughs> Biden's in office. And I'm just like. <sighs> What's there to I, be I, mad about? Like, what the hell? If they they always mad. I think they wanted Donald Trump to cut back for another. I to me, regardless, I felt like we just needed somebody new. So with Biden, it just gave it just gave it'll just put us in a different direction. You know, it's, yeah. I don't really know where Biden's gonna go with this, but I just hope something good comes out of it. I just it's it's terrible sitting there being in that kind of position where you just like uh. I don't like Joe, because it's like, they did the same thing to Hillary, so they don't like Hillary Clinton, they choose Donald Trump, so they're going to do the same thing with Joe Biden, it's like, oh no, Joe Biden? No, we're going to pick Donald Trump? It's like, come on, man, really? I don't I don't know, I just, I really wanted someone new in general, but I felt like they kind of waited to the last second where it was just like, oh, you got to pick between these two people. So is your YouTube just, is your YouTube your music videos, or is it a different topic? Um, I kind of, for the most part, I kind of, I slowly started, like, I, I post, like, a lot of, uh, my, if I, if I have a song that comes out or whatever, like, if I do a song, I just mm-hmm. started taking uh, music um, more seriously, um, for the most part, so, like, I, I do post, like, my music on my channel, like, if I do, so far, I, I think I got, like, a song or two on here. And then I got like contests of like I was trying to do or whatever or challenges I was trying to do. But um, my my actual YouTube videos themselves so far it's just like um, it's like reaction videos. Try not to laugh. Um, I play. I was playing Among Us, like the game and stuff. Um, what else is on here? Oh, I played. I played a scary game on my phone and stuff. Like I like I play. I rotate between like playing games and like reaction videos and trying out the like different videos and stuff like that eventually i'm gonna branch out more than that but so far it's mostly been like like games and uh, reaction videos for the most part how's your experience been on youtube it's been good so far i'm surprisingly when i first started um i had so when i first opened my account and i was telling people about it i wasn't even thinking about doing youtube at all or becoming a youtuber i should say I mostly was using it to just kind of post my uh, music on there. So I was doing, like, I have, like, a little bit of, like, stuff I was doing on there. And I had, like, a couple of my friends follow me or whatever. So it was, like, 11, 12, 13 people follow me. But when I started doing YouTube videos, I actually I actually got a lot of subscribers before the end of the year. Because I started in about, 
when did I start? I think I only at the time when I started, I think I started three months before the end of the year, I think about three mm-hmm. or four months of me having my channel. And I got, I went from like 13 to like 91 subs within like three or four months, maybe four or five months, something like that. So it wasn't too bad. And then the start of the new year, the first week is when I went over a hundred and got like 102, 103. And now mm-hmm. I'm at 112. So it's, it's slowly growing. I, my, my experience with it. I mean, I just, I just try to promote it, um, put videos out, and hopefully people see it. My my goal for the moment is just hopefully I get a hundred subs each year. Obviously, if I if people if I get more traction, I get more subs before before that. So definitely before the end of the year, like if I have two hundred or like I get close to three or four. So my goal right now is just to kind of build subs. But I haven't I've been enjoying it. I've actually. I didn't think I would ever do YouTube. I was nervous. I was thinking to myself, like, I want to do YouTube. I told myself I want to be a YouTuber. I seen people doing YouTube. I was like, that's so cool. But I was nervous. I was like, I can't do your YouTube. I was talking to somebody, and out of nowhere, I was just like, oh, that's so cool. Let me see if I'm able to do this. And whoever I was talking to ended up convincing me to become a YouTuber. YouTuber, and and I was like, you know what? I can do this. I, I did everything starting out just with my phone. I had a microphone already trying to do music and it just took, it just took a person just sitting there like, no, you could do it in me, believe it in myself. When you, be, when you believe in yourself, you're able to really just branch out and do what you need to do. It just takes that, that push, that extra step to really get out there and, and once I got over being a little nervous in front of the camera stuff, just like, I think my first, my first video was a reaction video to a song that I, it was Eminem, it was my favorite artist, and it was a song that I had heard. I was like, this would be pretty cool to break the ice, me, re, my reaction, kind of maybe get, get it a lot easier for me to get used to talking on there and just kind of create an image for myself and. I just kind of been posting videos ever since, so it's, it's been it's been really interesting. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. <clears throat> hmm. I've thought about YouTubing, but then I've I've just never have. Yes, it's so the the main thing is a lot of a lot of people I talk to, and I'm not saying it's you, but a lot of people I do talk to um, sometimes are nervous doing it or just don't know what they're doing in general. And so the first thing is just kind of finding finding something to make a YouTuber about and just going with that and just having the confidence to really just get in front of a camera and just do what you would normally do, but in front of a camera and record it and stuff like that. And then that's that's where it becomes a lot easier. Because when I it's funny because when I did when I did YouTube, it's it a lot of this stuff gives me a slight um, idea of like when you have stage fright a little bit. And it's only because of the fact that I, I've always been to a person, I've always been a person that's been to myself. So as I've gotten older, I've been like able to talk to people, interact with people, but talking to people, interacting with people is different than someone saying, Hey, yo, tell a joke or perform on stage, do a back. Like people just kind of expect you to do something in front of a huge crowd. So YouTube videos gave me that ex- that idea is just like, okay, people are going to be watching this. So I'm a little nervous right now, but as I started recording more videos, it became a lot easier. And even talking on this, when I first, the first people I was trying to talk to, I'm sending a message just trying to say I enjoy their podcast. And it just was so weird talking on there. Cause I'm just like, like people are listening to this. I, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just like, this is this weird, but it just kind of takes a second to break that ice and, Stuff like that, and, and it's all on the equipment you have too. Because where we doing YouTube, like you can you can do videos and stuff like that, but it's all based on the equipment. If you got like your equipment, everything set up, all you really do is just promote yourself, and hopefully the uh, people will come follow. Is it takes a while depending on the uh, your channel, and it just takes a minute to get kind of a buzz. And I still mm-hmm. I have. Because I try to post all my stuff on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. I post it on all my social medias. You, I have so many people follow me, but you'd be surprised how many people I tell. And I'm surprised I don't have more followers. Because I have plenty of friends that 
it tells me when people follow me. I have plenty of friends that will say they check it out, and plenty of family members that see it and stuff. And I'm surprised I didn't have everyone just subscribing to my channel that's that's supposed to be cool with me. So you, like people, I don't know what their mindset is or they just forgot. But it's just interesting to see how many people you tell versus how many people actually sub to your channel and actually check it out. Hey man, take a fucking hike in your window. Just okay, take wait, a fucking, fucking hike, hey, hike, 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 hey, hike. Yo, tell these people take a hike, but I'm not talking about hiking. Hikey, you can get lost when you're hiking. No map, follow the stars, that's your ID. Low key, I'm a god like Thor's brother. I'm the highest of the hikings. When my girl see me, she always gonna be greeting me instead of calling me babe. She like hiking.